Our big dumb universe is a super saturated solution for intelligence. We get to be the seed crystal. Now is the time that determines what kind of crystal we are. What were our goals at Vision Weekend? They were quite ambitious. We had two days only to generate 30-year strategies that navigate technologies of fundamental importance for the future of life away from dystopia toward utopia. Future making is about much more than technology. It's about our humanity. It's about long-term views. It's about thinking really ambitiously, aiming really high. But it's also about collaboration, cooperation, mutual understanding. And what is more, it's about optimism. The idea was that by focusing on existential hope, which is by discovering what we could reasonably hope for, it would actually allow us to increase the chances of getting there. Existential hope is the opposite of existential risk. It's the possibility that the future could be much better than we had expected. The world is in many ways is getting better, but people are feeling terribly pessimistic about the actual future. And that lowers their agency, because this is the pessimism that is poisoning people's thinking. That is where existential hope comes in. By actually showing there are some amazing opportunities here, that can excite people. We actually have a duty to spread existential hope. And I think existential hope is also going to become more of an actual discipline. On Saturday, each technology track developed two corner scenarios, a dystopia and a utopia, and then an existential hope strategy that navigates between them. Dystopian and utopian visions help you. They're a little like anchoring points. The future is probably not going to be any of them, but you can unpack the, the factors and dynamics and processes that are at work in making a better world or a, a more problematic one. Now, I think sometimes we get trapped into this situation where we're so concentrating on the dystopia that we almost end up steering towards it. And so I think the benefit of events like this is when people have a concrete idea of the thing that they actually really do want to steer towards. AI cyberspace, neurotechnology, health technology, biotechnology, nanotechnology, crypto commerce, and space. We're just about on the cusp of being able to put settlements off Earth, on the moon, on asteroids and Mars and other places. What values do we want to bring with us? How do we create that to be the most positive for the future? And how do we prevent more negative scenarios? AI is the single most disruptive thing to hit humanity ever. When you automate thought, it's completely different from automating muscle. How do we take uncertainty, which we know as humans is a, a deep part of ethics and understanding the world around us, but how do we build that well into artificial intelligence systems, given that so much of the way they're built today is to optimize some objective function? I was on the panel on neurotechnologies, where we were discussing everything from brain hacking and mind control, but also utopias, where thanks to brain technology, we become a saner, kinder, better world where we can understand each other much better and think much more deep and profound thoughts. After each track presented their individual strategy, we mixed them all together to find promising avenues to align forces. There's much old science fiction that predicted spaceflight. What nobody predicted is that the entire world would be watching the first steps on the moon. Even science fiction authors didn't have the foresight to predict them together and see how they combine. Foresight Institute has, for decades now, been a real mainstay of techno-visionary thought and action. Foresight is very much as vibrant as it's ever been. On Sunday, we gathered at the Internet Archive to present the strategies in the different tracks to the whole group. We met in the laundry of mission, and now we're here at the Internet Archive, which is a former church, to go and think broad thoughts. I think that environments and the right people concrete subjects that we can make some progress on, and mixing it up is just the way to come up with new ideas. Everyone collaborated on existentialhope.com, which is where we link to this massive spreadsheet of co-collaborators and predictions, all slide decks and all presentations interactive, collaborative note-taking, participant lists with their visions and their commitments, and finally future forecasts for participants to predict on. The thing that surprised me about today is actually how incredibly fun it's been. There's been so many fantastic ideas just flying back and forth. There is a spirit at Vision Weekend of playing with your best ideas and, and play in general, and that does help the creativity here. If you want to join in on the fun, go on existentialhope.com and start collaborating.